So does the touch screen on your car drive you crazy? According, no, okay. Some people okay, like the touch screen, but according to Slate, automakers are backing away from them and bringing back buttons and knobs. So do we want, do we want to see a return to the low tech features in our vehicles? I, I for one would, I have never owned a brand new car. Uh, I've only ever had used. My current car now is gotta be pushing 20 years old. Wow. I only have knobs, I only, and then wow. there was an aftermarket touch screen and I looked at it and I was like, oh no. It's, it's, it's actually very hard. So you use a key to start your car? I, it's shocking. You put oh my God, I have a key <laughs> to start oh my, my car, a bona fide oh, key. Yeah. So I see the new cars. I actually did a partnership with a luxury car company at the beginning of the pandemic. And I got in and they said, okay, we're gonna shoot a commercial. You're gonna get in the car. You're gonna start the car, put in a drive and like just drive down the street. I said, great, that sounds so easy. So I get in the car and I sit down and then I went, how do you even start this thing? Yeah. There was no key. There was no key. Yeah. And then they were like, oh, but there's a button. I'm like, there's a million buttons. <laughs> and I don't know which one it is. Finally got it to start, yeah. but then I couldn't figure out how do you get the thing to drive. So I started saying, drive, can you drive? <laughs> So, you know, the idea of like the driverless cars and this tech that is so beyond, yeah. you have to be an IT specialist to own a car these days. I'm very intimidated. I would like to bring back the horse and carriage, just for the record. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think some of the bells and whistles are making us worse drivers, mm. like because yeah. it's making yeah. us too comfortable. Yeah. I got a, a manual car just so that, because I feel like you're always engaged with a manual car. So mm -hmm. I, I like the idea of that. Yet, this car does come with bells and whistles, like a backup camera. Oh my God, and it has a fish lens. So it took me a year to realize that, like when I'm going like this, trying to, you know, in the yeah, parking over lot. over your shoulder. And I can't see, but the backup camera shows more than I can physically see. And it took me a very long time to trust it. But now I think I trust you know the side mirrors with the lights yeah, yeah. that tell you what's in your blind spot? Mm -hmm. You know, you're trained, it becomes habitual, like dun, 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 you're constantly looking. Yeah. I've, there's been a few times where I'm not looking. I'm just trusting you that You do a light. lane change blind? You are changing like, the you blind? Not, not, not blind, where I'm going, I, I have the but mirror. But you're on shoulder check? There's a been a few times where I'm not doing it because oh, of the light. Wow. Can you tell us what make and model your car is so we can all get off the road? <laughs> Yeah, we have the light, but we're but supposed to be shoulder, shoulder, shoulder You know what? Jack. That's what I'm, it proves my point. It's making me a worse driver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, funny story, I'm so trained to shoulder check mm -hmm. that I, even when I'm playing golf and like, <laughs> On, on the occasion where we have to play at a course that forces you to go in a golf cart, there are some courses like that, I will shoulder check. Oh my gosh, that's smart. No, but that's good. That's so you smart. don't run into somebody. Yeah. You're making me so nervous of the fact you don't shoulder check. Isn't well, everybody a little I, nervous I about that? I don't shoulder check. There have been times where, a couple of times, and I catch myself because it does become, shoulder checking, you know, I've been driving for 35 years, it becomes habitual. But yeah. now okay. with the light, yeah. Okay. So but to your original point, you think it's making people it's ma bad yes. drivers. It's making me Which a is bad what the driver. research is saying. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. One of the reasons yeah. why they're doing this is to try and curb get people. all the vehicular incidents that are happening. Yeah, you and if what? they really want to do that, they need to get people off their phones. That's really yes. what it's doing. Yeah. Um, Give them all a manual. Yeah, yeah, a manual. But I yeah. also, yeah, because I have a car that has all the touchscreen stuff. I love it. I'm a car lover. I love all that stuff. But I, because I remember my first car was an old Toyota Tercel, where if somebody was talking to me on the passenger side, I have to lean over and start <laughs> winding down the window. That's right. And if I wanted to change the music, I had to bring down the visor with all my CDs in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Remember? Yeah. That was all dangerous stuff. Now I can just say change music. I can yeah. listen to a podcast. That's true. So I think it's great. So I don't know about going back to the touch. It's easier, it's just, I don't know, it's, it depends on what you're comfortable with. I like all the new bells and whistles. That car without any, you don't even know where to start it. I love it's those rugged, cars. it's very primal. It's, I like riding it, I like that's it. what I like. I like being your side it's piece. safer driving. Ooh, yeah. that's to your safer. point, bring back manual transmission. I mean, oh, that, that's no the one one's doing thing. that. It makes you a better driver. It makes, oh, a better driver. Oh, oh, it makes you a better driver. I wonder how many people in here can drive manual? Nice! There. Oh, good. What? There. Good. This is actually more half than I thought. Room. This it's is more than half I thought. The room. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. actually shocked. Yeah. And, and, yeah. I'm actually shocked. Okay, we're gonna pivot. I'm gonna turn lanes and I'm gonna shoulder check. 
So thank it's you. All clear. <laughs> yeah. But the problem is also um, the fixing on the other side, because now you're driving a computer. Yes. You're not driving a car anymore. And mm -hmm. my father-in-law, who has his own body shop, mm -hmm. he is now, he, you know, his breed of people, they're really, unless they're going back to school to learn about software engineering, which is what you need to do. Yeah, true. He's like, oh, uh, you, if someone has an oil change and they're in a fancy touchscreen car, he's like, I can't do that. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. you actually have to plug in computers and then you have to be an IT specialist to fix a car now. So to me, and that's very expensive. I don't yes. know how you people with new cars are doing it. Because well, sometimes it's like an oil change is hundreds this. of dollars. I have multiple friends who have EVs and mm -hmm. the EVs were the ones who really Really accelerated all this tech in the cars, yeah. right? Like, because it's an electric vehicle. Mm -hmm. I have friends who, multiple, mm -hmm. who their cars have just died. Died, yep. So you, you not, oh. you don't need a mechanic. You need to call the mechanic plus a mechanic who knows the IT who has like a degree yes. in like computer yeah. technology Coding. from the <laughs> University yeah. or and whatever. It's tens to figure of, it out. It's almost sometimes more expensive to fix the car than to buy a yeah. new car. That's what they're, well, yeah, that, everybody's the, learning the that the hard way. The insurance went up. I got the exact same car just four years later. Mm -hmm. I leased the car and the insurance went up so much. I'm like, well, what happened? It's the same Because you're car. not checking your shoulders. Because you're not checking your It's because of Well, I'm gonna hold it from you. No, I'm not. I'm gonna tell you. It's because of all those darn sensors. So anytime, if you get in a fender bender, you're not just replacing the fender, you have to replace the all camera. the computer parts and everything. Ooh, so insurance goes up like a lot. Guys, my 20 year old car's looking real sexy now, it isn't is. it? <laughs> it is. I can still do my own oil change, okay? How's that for revolutionary? Yeah. Thanks for watching. We've got lots more discussion and debates on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. Don't forget to click like and subscribe.